This is Twit. Um, so we've all, you know, we all of us that have worked in the digital kind of content space have suffered through the move to digital from analog. We watched the music studios just botch it, and we had ten plus years of misery with with DRM and you know <coughs> trying to figure all that out. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> anyway, okay, wow, Ron? I, I Are you okay? almost died there. Talk, okay, I got I got, choked, I got I got I got choked up talking about uh, talking about uh, <laughs> media. Um, but here we are in 2017, and it looks as if the movie studios have finally figured it out uh, with the release of Movies Anywhere. Uh, and by movie studios, I mean Warner Brothers, Disney, Universal, Sony, and Fox. Uh, they've all banded together and have kind of come to work together in the middle uh, and released this Movies Anywhere app, which is an app where you can purchase and watch movies digitally through streaming, right? Um, it's got Chromecast support, as you would expect from an Android app. Uh, but here's what's really interesting about it. Not only have these studios come together, they've enabled you to authenticate with four platforms that you're probably already on. Uh, so if you've been buying and watching movies on Vudu, Google Play, Amazon Video, or iTunes – well, uh, anyway, um, you can log in <laughs> to those platforms and sync your previous purchase to the Movies Anywhere app. So, for example, when I logged in, when I when I set up this app, I logged into my Google Play account because that's natural. I use Google Play. I bought movies there, and bam, they're all there in the Movies Anywhere app. I can watch. I can watch them there. Then I logged into my Amazon account, and bam, there were the movies I bought from Amazon. Uh, this is genius. And then on top of that, you can see the promo. If you scroll back down, uh, Jason, uh, if you if you sync at least two of the four accounts, you can get five free movies, which is awesome as well, too. They're they're really want to entice you to uh, sync these accounts and you get Big Hero Six, which is an awesome movie. Jason Bourne, uh, the Lego movie, like some some decent movies. Ghostbusters. Say what you will. Um, Haven't seen. But it. Uh, yeah. So. But that said, it's got Disney, Universal, Sony, Fox, um, Warner Brothers. They make a lot of the movies we all want to see on a on a daily, weekly basis. And the app really isn't that bad. It's got you know kind of old school uh, material design, kind of Android design straight out there. You you ta you know they've organized it by you know franchises or genres. There's a whole bunch of information. They've got extras and all that sort of stuff in there. And when you want it, you can buy it from the app or if you have purchased the, the Blu-ray or the DVD and you have the digital code, you can enter it into this app and unlock the digital version. Uh, I know me, I'm trying to purge all physical media from my life and I want to stream everything. This is fantastic. I'm going to go through all my Blu-rays and type in the codes and just sync them up with this app and then boom, I don't need those discs anymore. That's great. Um, and then if you want to buy a movie as opposed to buying it, like remembering, oh, did I buy that on Vudu or did I buy that on Google Play? Did I buy that on Amazon? Just buy them here, right? <laughs> or if you for some reason want to buy them on Google Play, you can sync them with this app. And then when you're on the go, you can watch them anywhere. Um, and like I mentioned, it has Chromecast support. You can Chromecast it to your TV. This is really what we've been waiting for. And I'm glad to see the movie industry kind of figuring it out. Um, I did mention how you can log into your Vudu account, Google Play account, Amazon Video, and iTunes. Um, that's only if you're on an iOS device. If you try to sync the iTunes account on the Android app, it is actually grayed out. And and uh, Jason, try that. Go to go to hit the uh, hamburger menu. It probably won't let and me then, do it because I don't think I'm logged in right now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you log in or not log in? All right. Well, fine. I, I, I can. Um, Hold on. Let's see. Oh, hey, that was easy. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah, okay. it's really, so, yeah, it's really, really nice. Right. So now, if so, now click on my. Well, go go back to the menu, and click on my movies. It should sync your account if you bought many movies. No, go. Oh back. yeah, no, Just, no, my, I I have uh, tons of movies on my account. Where is it? Go to my movies. Oh, there we there. go. There we go. Yeah. So it's got all your movies there. Just like with that's all it took. All you had to do was log in. Yep. Like that's pretty. That's amazing. Yeah, the, um, and what you see here, this is basically pulled from like I've synced play uh, all my play purchases, which is like ninety five percent of what you see here, yeah. uh, except for all this stuff up at the top. Basically, all of that is uh, the. That's freebies. the stuff they gave you for syncing your account. Yes. That's the, and I'm the, sorry the, that I own the Emoji Movie. I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, I saw that. I feel the need to apologize for that because wow, that was really bad. Yeah. But anyways. Anyway, so if you hit, if you hit the hamburger menu. Um, 
and then go to manage retailers. Right. So if you had a Voodoo account or a Google Play or, you know, you could tap that. <gasps> iTunes, if you notice iTunes, it is grayed out. I don't even know why they show it. Why I know. Why? It, right. Like, that's so weird. <laughs> that is really strange. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, but yeah. So mo Movies Anywhere, it's a free app. If you've purchased movies on Google, the Google Play Store or on Amazon or on Voodoo, I don't know why you don't get this app and consolidate them all into one place. I, that just makes sense. Um so yeah, I think it's I think it's a great step by the movie industry. I'm glad to see that, and uh, hopefully uh, Paramount, Lionsgate, and MGM uh, come on board so that we get every movie. Um, unfortunately, it's very studio. Of course, it's studio focused. So if you're into indie movies, um, indie movies that is, you, you know, you might still need to you know use Just Watch to find what platform that indie movie you want is on. Uh, but hey, for the majority of the movies that come out, this is great. So it's free in the Google Play Store. Check it out. Nice. Yes, highly recommend it.